My earliest memories of Wimbledon all come from watching on TV really as a, as a wee boy. I think one that stands out is probably Ivan Isovic in 2001. I remember watching him win and uh, just really enjoying watching him play and then mom went and bought me the shirt he was wearing for that championships and I was just wearing it every day that summer when I was playing tennis. It's you know still up there with one of the, the best sort of weekends of my entire life. You know, it was a big year for us as wheelchair tennis players because it was the last Grand Slam to include a singles event for wheelchair players. And, you know, it's such a historic event and the fact that we could be a part of that as, as a group of athletes competing at the first singles event for wheelchair was big. And then obviously it was just, you know, blown away for me that I could be the first winner and, you know, have my name written into that history a little bit as well. And not only the singles, but to win the doubles with Alfie the day before as well. You know, it was our first Grand Slam playing together as a team. Alfie was really young, I think he got the wild card into the event. And uh, you know, it was kind of above any expectations that we had that, that week. And just really amazing memories that we're going to have forever. I would have loved to play in one of the doubles matches, you know, back at the start of my career. The wheelchair guys that were playing back then, the giant mystery British player, Robin Amerlan, David Hall, some of the kind of legends of wheelchair tennis that were the top guys when I first started playing. I think it would be quite fun to go back and, and play with them uh, now that I'm a little bit older and more experienced, um, so that could be quite fun. It kind of sounds always cliche when we say we miss the crowd, but I think um, you know for me it's it's totally unique. Uh, it's the the biggest crowd we probably play in as, as British players on the wheelchair tour throughout the year. You know the energy they bring and the support that they give us in every match is, is amazing. And for me personally, you know it's always an opportunity for friends and family that I've got all over the country um, to kind of get together for for one week, which doesn't happen very often. So that's always a really nice part of the, the event for me as well, is the fact that they're all together in a group watching the tennis, supporting, but then also we can meet up with each other afterwards and, and in the evenings and, and go for dinner and, and kind of um, you know, spend a little bit of time together as a whole group that we don't usually get to spend. It's raining pretty heavily outside right now, so that's, the weather's getting recreated already, um, so I might have to yeah, crack open a little bowl of strawberries and cream and I'll feel like I'm right there. Part of me is trying to pretend it's, it's not supposed to be this week because I'd miss it more. But you know, I think obviously there's some old matches being shown on TV. Um, you know, so I might use that as an excuse to go back in the, into the archives of my matches and uh, maybe jump upon one of the, the few highlights of, of a couple of years ago and maybe watch them.